Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian and Chucky here to show you off a couple of things I picked up when I was out of town on Sunday. Um, we went to a comic book shop, got one title, and then I went to this uh, indoor flea market. I got, um, well, I got a whole bag's worth of DVDs. No Blu-rays uh, on Sunday, so... Um, so the only comic, the one I got at the comic book store was a movie that I had been looking for for a while. That is, uh, Mysterious Skin with, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, Michelle Trachtenberg and Elizabeth Shue. Uh, I've heard this is a really good movie, um, very, um, uh, says it's shattering and unworldly, otherworldly, painfully honest movie, so... It's definitely a drama, but definitely looking forward to this one. Um, if I, I'm sure I'll like it enough to upgrade, but uh, even the disc is pretty cool. It's just got a bunch of uh, Fruit Loops on it. So, got Mysterious Skin. <clears throat> so, let's get in the bag here. So, all these were different prices from different vendors. Um, this is not... I tried to keep it in order by which vendor I got it from. So the next two here were a two for five. Um, I haven't opened them yet to see if the condition of them, but it's fine. First one here is an is a uh, animated uh, Japanese film. Uh, it is an, also available in uh, Chinese and English. It's two hours and five minutes, and it's a movie called Sin. So like I don't I don't I don't I didn't, I didn't look it up so I don't know I don't know when this was made uh, it says actually no that's an email address um yeah I don't know when year this was made but it looks interesting it's yeah I thought I said it's in Japanese but it's also in Chinese and English as well so and then I got uh, season three of Adventure Time so I got one through three now. I don't know how many there are. I know there's a box set of it, but it's rather expensive. So uh, the next uh, four titles here were all a dollar a piece. Got these at um, a random vendor. Uh, <clears throat> first one here is a Daniel Steele. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a Lifetime movie, kind of called Fine Things, with uh, D. W. Moffat, Tracy Pollan. And Judith Hoag from, um, I forget which Turtles movie she was in, but she's in this as well. This is from 1990. It's put out by Anchor Bay. I don't know. It's probably one of those, you know, lifetime drama movies. I had to pick this one up from my Rugrats collection. Uh, this has four, ep four episodes. Yeah, four, uh. Yeah, four episodes from um, All Grown Up. I didn't really get into that um, part of Rugrats. Very well. I, I watched a little bit of it, but not a lot of it. So can't, can't, well, I can't wait to check this one out. Um, yeah. You get uh, Susie Sings the Blues, Coop DeVille, uh, Rugrats All Grown Up, and Rugrats My Fair Babies. So I think two new, two, two newer ones and two older ones. Yeah. So there's that. It's 101 minutes. And the disc is the same as the front. And then you got this little insert as well. So that was pretty, pretty cool. Glad to have that in the collection. Uh, this one's a double feature of uh, African-American film uh both mgm discs uh i've i know i'm familiar with the second title but not the first one so this is a uh, cornbread earl and me and cooley high like i said i've heard of cooley high but not the other one uh cornbread earl and me is from 1974 and it stars rosalind cash uh, and this is uh, Lawrence Fishburne's first uh, uh, first role, I, I suppose. It says introducing Lawrence Fishburne the third. 
So yeah, this is that was his first film. Uh, Cooley High is from 1975, and I don't recognize the cast. Uh, Glenn Turman, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, Garrett Morris, and Cynthia Davis. So, I heard it's a pretty good film though, so I wanted to add that as well. And this one I got because it's out of print and it's a really good movie. I have this movie in my collection, but I want to double check it because this disc, this, uh, this disc is mint. Pretty minty, it's got a fingerprint on it, but that's about it. Uh, one of my favorite comedies from uh, 2001, and that is a movie called Slackers. Used to watch this all the time on Comedy Central back in the day. Uh, I got Devin Sawa, uh, Jason Schwartzman, James King, uh, Jason Siegel, Laura Preppen, and Michael C. Marona. So definitely enjoy that cast. Um, you guys know Laura Preppen from that 70s show, uh, Michael C. Marin, sorry, Marona, was from uh, Adventures of Pete and Pete and Home Alone as well. And then yeah, everyone knows Jason Segel and David Devon Sawa. Really good comedy, I recommend it. Uh, this one here, I know I saw Geriatric Geek get, got this one and so did I, <laughs> obviously. Uh, this is season two of uh, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives with Guy Fieri. Um, I do watch his show from time to time, so uh, all three discs are in here and they were all mint, so I got that for $2. Uh, this case, this artwork on this one is not great, but the disc was fine, just needs to be cleaned. And this is the 1993 uh, version of the movie of the Beverly Hillbillies. With uh, Dietrich Bader, um, Jim Varney, Lily Tomlin, Leah Thompson, Rob Schneider, great cast, Penelope Suffries, uh, Sef I don't say her last name, she directed this. Uh, I remember watching this on TV, thought it was kind of funny. I do enjoy the, the, the original TV series as well. Uh, this one I didn't really know much about. But I am a, I am a Corbin Burtson fan from like when he had it, when he did stuff in the '90s. So this is another one of his '90s films called The Tidal Wave: No Escape, with Julian Phillips and um, Harvey Presnell. I'm not sure who that is, but uh, this, is a, this is a George Miller film. So I figured I'd pick it up and give it a watch. And it's also put out by Artisan. Uh, Home Entertainment, so I definitely would like to add all of those artists and films to it, and the inside is pretty cool too. Uh, this one's also out of print and a really good uh, comedy from the early, from 2000, uh, with Jason Biggs, Greg Kinnear, and Mina Suvari, and that is Loser. It's a really good movie. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I have this in my collection already, so I, don't know, I might I might do a giveaway. I'm not 100% yet, but uh, like a, this disc needs to be cleaned as well. It's got a hell of a lot of fingerprints on it, but other than that, it looked fine. And then the last one here is a Disney title. It's still a brand new factory seal that I got for a dollar. That is a double feature of uh, the Adventures of Huck Finn and Tom and Huck. Still sealed. So that's everything I got on Sunday. Like I said, not a lot, but a little stack. And then I got some stuff I want to I want to share, but later I got a couple new releases today. One in the mail from Amazon and one from Best Buy. And then one pickup from McKay's, but I want to save that for later. So you'll see those in an, in an upcoming video. So this is it for this little video. If you guys seen any of these, and let me know what you thought of them. And uh, definitely let me know if you've seen Mysterious Skin because I've been really dying to check that one out. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys uh, probably in a few days. See ya.